Hi, thanks for checking out this video. I'm your Everyday Joe. Today, I'm going to be making a quick and easy pizza pinwheel recipe using my Ninja Foodi air fryer. Stay tuned. In this recipe, we're going to make it real simple. I'm just using a store-bought uh, dough, pizza dough. It's the kind in the tube. You know which one it is. So we're going to make this really easy. I've already preheated the Ninja Foodi for about five minutes at 400 just to get it started. So let's start assembling the, the pizza. Got a little bit of olive oil, and this is going to go together real quick. All right. And we're just going to spread that out a little bit. I've already pre-floured the cutting board a little bit because this kind of dough is very tacky, very sticky. So that's just spreading out a little bit of the olive oil. Now you can also use a, a sprayer if you have a mister. Okay. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of sauce, not too much, maybe a couple of tablespoons. Maybe spread that all out. Okay. All right. Now that we have that done, and you don't want too much on it because it, it'll get too soupy. So now we're going to start seasoning it. This is just some dry Italian herbs, some basil, some oregano, and some uh, dry rosemary in there. Some garlic, and this is just some minced fresh garlic. And I'm just going to use a little bit of it. A little, a little goes a long way with this with fresh garlic. If you want to use a powdered kind, you can. Okay, I'm just going to get it in there. Just like making any other pizza, we're just going to make pinwheels out of it. All right, next thing, some grated Romano Parmesan cheese. And you can make any kind of pizza you like. You can make a white pizza. I'll just use some uh, vegetables and a little bit of uh, olive oil. And, of course, some cheese. All right, next going to add some cheese to this and we're not going to go too heavy with the cheese because it'll it'll just explode on you and fall all over the place but we're going to add enough to make it worthwhile and this is just a mozzarella cheese a dry mozzarella uh, in a bag all right and I'm going with the pepperoni today. Pre-sliced pepperoni. Just gonna get them all, all on there. Probably about four rows, five rows, whatever it takes, four or five. If you wanna stack them, you can stack them, but I, I wouldn't stack too much because you gotta roll these. So it's gonna take, take up a little bit of space too. Okay, all right. One extra one. That one's mine. Hmm. Okay. So, at this point here, we're just going to start rolling it. Okay. And like I said, with this, uh, uh, with this dough, it's very, very soft. So, very delicate dough. So it wouldn't be my, uh, my homemade dough. It's, a, it's got a little bit more body to it. This stuff here is kind of puffy. But in a bind, it works fantastic. Okay. Let's get that in there. And I'm going to give it just a little motivation roll, a little back rub roll, just to get it all in there. Okay, now what I'm trying to do is I also want to work out some of the uh, air bubbles. So I'm giving a little squeeze. Okay. okay make sure it's not stuck to the board. Open that up. All right, so I'm just going to give this a little bit of a oil spray. This is an olive oil, just so we don't stick. Now, it should be non-stick anyway, but overuse... You know, uh, you're using it for a while, it tends to stick a little bit anyway, so we're just going to motivate it. 
All right, so I'm going to cut maybe about two inch, two inch rolls here. And you want to make sure you use a sharp knife for this, otherwise you're going to be crushing the dough and flattening it and it's going to, uh, not going to look pretty. All right, so at this point I'm just going to put these into the air fryer and, and I'm standing them up so they all look like pinwheels. All right, go in there. All right, moving right along. And that's the last one. So you can leave a little bit of space in between them. You really don't have to because they're just going to kind of puff out anyway. Okay, I'm going to tap them down a little bit so they so they sit, so you want to give them a little press. So now I'm just going to give it another little spray for the top, just nice and quick. Close the top, start up the Ninja Foodi. We're going to bump this up to about, uh, actually let's go to about 375 because it, it will get very hot. I don't want it to burn before it uh, completely cooks. And we're going to go between five and eight minutes. I'm going to keep an eye on it so we don't burn it. So we'll go in between, say, seven minutes and hit start. And I'll bring you back when we're done. We just finished with 375 degrees for seven minutes. And you can take a look here. The dough is about 90% there. It's almost there. The cheese is melted, obviously. Uh, everything else is starting to cook on the inside. So now comes the, the, the final part of this. What I'm going to do is add a little bit of olive oil to the top, just again for flavoring, and then put some of this cheese over the top of it because I want it to melt over the top. Okay, so I'm just stacking a little bit on each one. Okay. And I'm pressing it in a little bit because, you know, with the fan, it may blow around a little bit. Uh, but I think it should be okay. So let's uh, put it all in. Put it all in. Oh, good. All right. Uh, a little bit more of this Italian seasoning over the top. All right. Let's close it up. And this time we're going to bump it up to 400 degrees for about one or two minutes, just to be able to melt everything down. So the foodie just finished. I did have to add a couple of extra minutes on it because I wanted the cheese to get really nice and melted and toast it up. So let's take a look. That looks really nice there. And it, you can hear it's still sizzling, so it's still very hot. I'm going to use my grill arm or gloves to help me out here. So you can take a look here. That, look, that looks great. That looks great. Now, the, the catch is how to get these out, out of here. Now, you can put this on, on, your, uh, on a countertop or something uh, and just pull them off. So now that I've pulled them all out, they're still kind of warm here. Now you can see the, the cheese just crisping up nicely here. I'll just kind of pull that off. Mmm, nice. And I left some of this marinara sauce here, this tomato sauce, for dipping. Can pull that apart. The sight. It's a nice sight of beauty, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's good. Nice little pinwheel pizza. And you give it a little dip. Hmm. Well, those are pretty good, nice and easy, quick to make, about 15 minutes total time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give this a shot. Let me know down in the 
uh, comment section below. Uh, check out some of the videos here on the side. Give me some thumbs up and shares, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.